Yes, we're actually freaking doing it, man. Like, what does the coronavirus actually have us doing? As you guys see the loading screen in the background, yes, we are going back to Madden 16. Why Madden 16? Because this is the game that created Draft Champions. What you guys know now as Mutt Draft, the draft game mode on Ultimate Team was first ever released back here on Madden 16. And today we're going retro, going back, and we're going to see what the Draft Champions was all about back in Madden 16 over four years ago now dudes like I never did I think at this point in my channel's existence I'd be making a Madden 16 video but the coronavirus happened and I guess the global pandemics actually leads to you doing things that you never thought you would do but yes today just gonna have some fun with it as you see draft champions right here today it's technically like some people still call it draft champions but now in Madden 20 it's really only called mutt draft I don't remember what year actually was just introduced as mutt draft but it used to be draft champions people still call it draft champions today Madden brand new way to play that was the case four years ago now but just gonna have some fun with it man we'll probably gonna do like four or so drafts after we do the first draft and seek I don't remember what the record was we'll set ourselves a target so the first draft is really just a test then we're gonna do three more drafts and if we don't hit that target overall as always I have to give away $50 in the comment section luckily in yesterday's upload I didn't have to give away the $50 but maybe today I will give you guys a keyword somewhere throughout the video to say in the comment section below to have a chance to win those $50. I don't know what it's going to be. It's going to be something completely random, and I'm going to say it completely out of context and just the middle of everything. But that will be the keyword to have a chance to win $50 if we don't hit the overall draft that we try to attempt to hit after I do the first one and see what the heck's going on here in Madden 16. But hopefully you guys do enjoy this OG Draft Champions video. If you guys do make sure to smash a huge thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. Hope you guys are doing okay amidst of all this crap craziness make sure to subscribe if you are new because we're doing a lot of giveaways very soon turn on the notification bell if you have it today is literally the last day to enter the instagram giveaway so i will leave a link to my instagram in the description box below at the top of the description box so you guys can go into that go follow me so you have a chance to win a thousand dollars i think it's either today or tomorrow i'm announcing the winner but with that said let's get into draft attempt number one and it's only 15 rounds i think every year from madden 16 17 18 19 they added more rounds now it's up to 22 rounds only 15 rounds so it's gonna probably be a pretty low overall draft in comparison to what we know nowadays and what a start dudes because we're off the bat in the coach round not one of these three coaches are still at that team Gary Kubiak with the Broncos Ken Wizard Hunt with the Titans and John Fox with the Bears we'll go with Ken Wizard Hunt because my, my, my team is the Titans although he didn't hardly last long whatsoever with the Titans but off the bat here round number one we get ourselves a 90 overall left guard Lyell Collins so nothing too crazy just yet I don't even know if the vibration rounds existed then like, these, this draft looks nothing like what we know nowadays. Now, I have no idea if, like, you get QB rounds or wide receiver rounds. So, I don't know if we need to get this QB yet. He's only an 84. So, we'll grab ourselves a cornerback, Darquise Denard. I wonder what the highest rated card is you can get. Like, this draft sucks. Damon Harrison, 83 overall, into round number four. This round, like, this draft is a lot more clunkier. It takes a long time to go from round to round. It's just kind of annoying. I guess here at a 76 overall, we'll take ourselves Desmond Bryant, and we might be lucky to get an 80 overall. Here is actually finally a pretty big round. We'll take 87 overall, Shaq Thompson. But keep in mind, dudes, like back here in Draft Champions, like this was the first time they introduced this type of game mode. So they're trying to get the kinks out, trying to test out what works and what doesn't work. As you guys know now, four years in the future, Madden 20 drafts are actually pretty fun and cool to see as well. Back in the day, chemistry used to be a thing. As you see in the top right corner of the screen, depending on who you pick, you get like ground and pound, or you get long pass, pass rush chemistry. So you didn't have to kind of strategically draft your teams. We're taking 92 overall, Alan Hearns here, into round seven. We get ourselves another pretty crappy gold round. We already have a right end and a left end we do need. So I guess we'll take William Golson, although he's only three overall higher than the left end that we started with. God dang, dude, these drafts are awful. Although we do get an 88 rated campus hero Raheem Moore at the free safety position. That's about as good as a freaking safety you get in today's draft champions. Now here we'll go with the middle linebacker, Michael Kendricks. We haven't even hit an 80 overall yet. The highest rated card we've seen is like a 92. Here we do need a strong safety, so Kenny Vaccaro, campus hero, he's now a titan. So he's a player still in the league here. Next, we're going to go with the fullback, John freaking Kuhn. That guy is a legend. We'll snag him. We're at 80 overall now. Now we do need, does anybody boost up to an 81? Unfortunately, no. I guess we grab ourselves another linebacker, Carlos Dansby, at an 80 rated into round 13. Now this, we don't even have a quarterback yet. We don't have a running back. 
So what do I do? Thank God this was a test run here. I'm gonna do three more drafts after this. Round 14. Like, that's actually a pretty decent pick. We only have one wide receiver. We'll just go with the highest rated, I guess, Taylor LeJuan. Hopefully we get a quarterback here in round 15. Okay, so round 15, I guess, is the big legend round. So we do get a running back, but we did not get a QB all draft long, aside from the Carson Palmer. So we will take Curtis Martin. And draft number one ends up an 82 rated as it was actually pretty, pretty freaking underwhelming to say the least. So we have three attempts and we're going to try to get an 83 rated. And if we don't get an 83 rated, I have to give away $50 in the comment section and the keyword still to come. Wow, crazy again, dude. We finally got a coach that still is at that team. John Harbaugh and the Baltimore Ravens will snag him and see if we can get that 83 rated draft. So I kind of know what's to come here. And crazy too, like the reason why this is so freaking nostalgic to me and, and pretty like important, cause like this draft champions back on Madden 16 is literally what jump started my channel after like seven years of grinding on YouTube. Finally it hit my break and it's because I was doing custom drafts on draft champions and it just took my channel to another level. And thank God, because I wouldn't be here without this draft champions game mode, which seems silly to say, but literally, if it wasn't for Draft Champion the Madden 16, I'd probably not still be here doing something else with my life after I graduated from college. But here we get ourselves a solid wide receiver to start off with Des Bryant. We only got one wide receiver in the last draft. Here in round two is a pretty crappy gold round. I guess here we'll go ahead and take ourselves a deep tackle Roy Miller, I suppose. Although some of the gold cards are barely better than the cards that you start with with your base team. I guess here we need to go ahead and get ourselves a quarterback. And I guess we'll take Terrell Pryor, Campus Hero. What a card with 94 speed. Like, that's the kind of stuff I love going back and seeing some of the cards that did exist. Oh, man. Antonio freaking Brown. 90 rated core elite card. I mean, we could go with the 95 rated right tackle, but you've got to go Antonio Brown, Dez Bryant, and Terrell Pryor on offense. That's actually absolutely insane, dudes. Here... We'll go ahead and take ourselves the highest rated, 89 rated Taylor Lewan. I think it's the second straight draft we've got him in. Into round six. I don't think we're going to go running back yet. We'll probably get a better one in the legend round. So here we'll just go with the highest rated, I suppose, Kobe Fleener. Some of these names are just so freaking nostalgic that we come across, even though this was only four years ago. Here, I think we need to go ahead and grab ourselves a middle linebacker, 85 rated CJ Mosley. Give us something huge here, 90 plus, not necessarily. Although we do get another 88 rated Raheem Moore, another pretty big free safety. I think that's also the second time we've gotten him. Here into round nine, we do need to get ourselves a cornerback. We haven't got one yet, so we will take Jason McCourty here to be our first corner. We're already at an 80 overall with like five rounds to go. So this could actually end up being a pretty big draft. We do need an outside linebacker. We already have a D-tackle, so we will take Jamie Collins here. We also already had a free safety as well. Here in round 11, I think we are going to go with Central Henderson. Campus hero because he's the only card that moves up to an 81 overall. Round 12, where did this come from, dude? What the heck? Bro, a 99 rated Eric Berry came out of literally like nowhere. Bro, do we even have a round like this last draft? Like, what just happened? Even Michael Vick doesn't boost it up to an 82 overall. So we're definitely going to go with a 99 rated Eric Berry. Like, the drafts are so freaking dull. Then all of a sudden, boom, Eric freaking Berry, 99 rated. I think this might actually end up being the freaking 83 overall draft. We get Peyton Manning, but we already have ourselves a QB. So do we get the 83 rated? We'll go with our second cornerback. We might have already beat it. Round 14 anybody boost us up we don't have a running back yet oh this is a little unfortunate isn't it we don't we'll take the 83 rated right guard now we're at 83 rated just like that round 15 we unfortunately don't get a running back but god dang dude we get a 98 rod woodson to be our third corner and man right there we do get an 83 rated but you know what because i love you guys we still have two more attempts we have to get an 83 across the board this was an 82.5 being rounded up we have to get an 83 across the board for me to not have to give away the 50 dollars to you guys bro i forgot all about this nonsense man god dang it 
I completely forgot, dude. You can only freaking reset your draft, man, every 24 hours. I remember this, dude. This used to be the freaking struggle when you try to draft over and over again for a video, and you can only do it every 24 hours. I remember there was a workaround somehow, and I'm gonna have to hopefully figure it out ASAP. Yeah, I have to jump into a game and quit and lose and then redraft. Like, that's just a freaking elongated pickle spear. Hey, I got into another draft. I don't know how, but I did. So we have two more attempts. We gotta get an 83 across the board to not have to give away $50. So here, John Harbaugh again. He gave us a pretty good draft. Ron Rivera is now obviously not with the Panthers, nor is Dan Quinn with the Falcons. In the round numero uno. Come on, give us a huge draft. Let's actually try to make it an 84 rated draft. T.Y. Hilton off the bat, a solid wide receiver here to get back in Madden 16. You guys get what I'm saying though, it just takes so long to load from one round to the other and you're so used to nowadays just being instant in Madden 20 drafts here. We'll go with the highest rated 84 Vernon Davis. I don't even know if an 84 rated draft is possible. Imagine we actually get the 84 when they're only going for an 83 here. I guess again, we just go with the highest rated, the 85 overall right tackle Andre Smith from our first round draft pick here. Another huge round, I think. We just go with the highest rated 91 Alex Mack because you guys saw we might get like a 90 rated QB later on. So another pretty just crappy round. Although, I guess we get the 82 rated Xavier because him and the corner both boost up to a 78. Here is a pretty big round. So now I guess we do go ahead and grab ourselves this cornerback because he's the only one that does boost us up to a 79. I mean, we're only like four overall away or five overall away from getting the 84 rated draft. We get Raheem Moore for the third straight draft. Come on, give us a huge quarterback, a huge running back. It doesn't. Give us an 85 uh, center, but we already have one. Here we go with the wide receiver, Andre Johnson, does boost us up to an 80 rated. So we have six rounds to go to boost up four overall. Now the question is here, do we take Ryan Tannehill now with the Titans or we take Aaron Donald? We'll take Aaron Donald because like I said, the Michael Vick might pop. Imagine we get a 99 QB. Round 10, another pretty big round here. We definitely got to go with the 86 Lawrence Timmons at the middle linebacker position. I guess the only pick really is the outside linebacker. We'll go with Justin Durant here into round 12. Come on, something big, a 90 plus rated card. I mean, it's a 90 exactly. Does anybody boost us up to an 82? Unfortunately, I don't think anybody does. But I guess, I guess this left guard can play right guard for us and help out that overall. We're 82 rated now into round 13. I think here we gotta take a running back. We got to. We might get a QB in these last two rounds. So we could possibly get a good QB and a good running back. Round 14. Nothing too wild, although we do get a big CJ Mosley. Now the question is... Do we take him? Because we already have him in a linebacker. See, he doesn't boost us up to an 83, nor does the wide receiver Demarius Thomas. That's a tough one. I, I just go with the highest rated here, CJ Mosley. Come on, give us something crazy. We need a huge QB here. And we don't get one, but we do get a Roy Williams. We do get another good wide receiver, and we do get a freaking 97 overall left tackle. Do we just go with the highest rated? I, I guess I, I guess we do. 97 rated. We already have two wide receivers. Is it 83 once again? No 84, but is it 83? Like across the board at least? Oh shoot, dudes. It's literally once again only an 82.5. We have one final draft to try and get the freaking 83 across the board. We're gonna have to give away $50, man. I'm hardly even making money from YouTube anymore because the ads suck right now. I got it working. One final draft. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. You gotta be goddamn kidding me, dude. I gotta wait 16 more minutes? Why, man? We have to find a way to actually get into a ranked game and quit that one and then I can reset the draft. But what are the freaking odds somebody's back playing Madden 16 searching for a game? Oh, man, this sucks. Why do I freaking do this to myself, man? I'm not gonna find the game. Like, realistically, who's freaking playing Madden 16? You guys better freaking love me. I just spent 15 minutes making a second freaking account just so I could do more drafts. I think this should work. It does, yes. It's our fourth and final draft. We've got to get an 83 across the board. You know what? We're gonna go with Chip Kelly here. Highest rated 89. Come on, I want an 84. What was the... Guys, let me in the comment section below. What was, like, the record draft here back... For Madden 16. We'll take George Iloka. 85 rated strong safety. Oh, where did, like, where does this come from? Like, all the rounds suck, and then you have this happen. 
So here, does anybody boost up to a 78? Do we take a 97? No, we gotta go with the highest rated here. 98 Derek Brooks. Can we get a few more of those rounds? How sick would it have been to get a QB there? Here, been getting a lot of offensive linemen, so we go tight in here with Max Williams, 86. Gerard Mayo, that's an OG name right there. We'll go ahead and snag him. Let's see if we can get like a Peyton Manning, like a 99 Peyton. Here we go with, I suppose, the higher. No, we already have Derek Brooks. So we go with the cornerback here. Alteron Werner used to be a Titan as well. We're at a 79 rated in round seven. I guess we go defensive end here. Chris Canty at the right end position. Still not yet at an 80 rated. Here, oh, we just took a freaking right end. That would have been sick if we could have got a left end, not a right end. But here... I guess we go Jonathan Joseph to be another cornerback for us. I don't think we're quite going to get the 83 rated dudes. Now here, oh, it's got to be D-tackle. 93 big Brandon Williams to come in hot. Round 10, we need a QB, man. We really need a freaking quarterback. Unfortunately, nobody here boosts us up to the 81 rated. Although I guess he could play right outside linebacker for us. I guess. Now, let's just go ahead and take the cornerbacks. We have three cornerbacks. We're at an 81 now in round 11. Huge wide receiver here, Terrence Williams. Don't mind if I do. Come on, a QB, a big running back here. We get a quarterback. Now, do we take him? I guess we take him, Matt Ryan, just to make sure we have a quarterback. We need a big running back, though. Dudes, we're at an 83 rated. We're at an 83 rated. We have two more rounds after this. I'm guessing it's the right guard. Yes, Marshall Yonda boosts up to that 83 rated. Can we actually make it an 84? Like, it's got to be, right? Muhammad Wilkerson. Okay, so we're still at an 83, but this is... Oh, we're at... Whoa! What freaking happened? We hit... Okay, what, what's going on? So, okay, that, that, this is... This is it off. An absolute freaking bang. Not only... So, not only did we get the 83 that we were aiming for, bros, we went out, did the god dang thing, and we got ourselves an 85 rated draft now okay so okay 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 what the heck <laughs> bro so so ea sports their math was about as good back then in madden 16 as it is in madden 20. now how did we get an 84 offense 84 defense and that average out to be an 85 overall i don't freaking know but dudes i've learned in my 24 years of living on this earth you never freaking ask questions